Come through fam, we lit and we gel. And before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our previous content. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for all notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Got some Patty Jenkins news for you. You love Patty Jenkins, you love her bangs, you love her smile. Maybe you want to cuddle up to her and watch Thor Ragnarok, what the Say what? fuck is going on here? Yes, Patty Jenkins praises Taika Waititi and calls Thor Ragnarok one of the best Marvel movies of all time. And may God have mercy on your soul. She says, Ragnarok was such a good movie. I'm actually so grateful that Thor found Taika because Taika is the most genius fit for Thor of all time. It's amazing. What the fuck are you talking about? It's one of the best Marvel movies of all time. It's so good. That movie is pure joy and so well executed. It's not going to matter if you're not into superhero movies. Taika is a great filmmaker and he just made a great film. Cinema. So what are you trying to say, Patty Jenkins like? You're trying to tell me that Thor Ragnarok is in the same league as Spider-Man 2, Blade, The Punisher, with Dolph Lundgren? I doubt it. I guess now we know why the posters for Wonder Woman 1984 were so colourful. Bloody hell like. It's almost like you're trying to cover up your bad movie with colours. And what about Wonder Woman 1984? Look at the ratings man. 2.6 on Google after almost 22,000 ratings from the fans. IMDb 5.5 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes 60%. And check this out. While I was on comicbook.com, I'm not proud, but I was trying to research this story. Look what I came across. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. Oh well, I guess it's not as bad as this. But what about Patty Jenkins' upcoming projects like Wonder Woman 3, Rogue Squadron and Cleopatra? Turns out she's going to make all three films in the same period of time. So about these three projects she said, you could never do a good Star Wars movie in one year or a good Cleopatra in one year. I think each of these movies takes two years probably. Certainly, until I'm on set shooting Star Wars, I could be developing all sorts of other things and pushing them forward. It is actually possible. So, I think that's apparently how people do it. Do multiple things at one time. Which I'm usually pretty singular focused, but I'm getting better at this all the time. So in the amount of time it took to make Wonder Woman 1984, she's going to give you three bad movies in the same amount of time. JK, JK. I'm actually looking forward to Wonder Woman 3. It's going to be darker and grittier, maybe a little bit more like the original. Hopefully with the Snyders back on board with the production from start to finish. But what about that rogue squadron? Could be a disaster. This guy's head's going to explode. Because they are pathetic. They don't deserve any respect whatsoever. So click like because you know what I'm right. Let me know in the comments below. If you care then you can share. And then you smash that mother fucking subscribe button and hit that bell or go to hell. So until next time my knuckleheads, I'm Shorty and you're not. Ta-ta.